Hello everyone, now I will show you how to set up your Linksys router. And before I start, I want to remind you that if my video will help you, please support my work. Half of all donations I send to animal shelters. All details are in the description down below. The first step is to turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end of the power adapter into a wall outlet. Connect the other end to the router. Turn on the power by pressing the button. When it's powered on, a light will illuminate. It might take a few minutes for the router to fully power up. Next, plug the cable from your broadband provider or modem into the internet port. This port is commonly called to as WAN and is typically a different color. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you should reset the router to its factory settings. Hold down the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Wait for the lights on the router to begin flashing. Occasionally, this button can be found inside the router casing to avoid accidental presses. Use a slim object to press it down. The router will reboot, resetting all the settings to their original factory defaults. Connect one end of the Ethernet cable that came with the router to an Ethernet port. Connect the other end to your computer or laptop's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for the connection to establish. Awesome! Your router is now connected to your computer. Now you will need to set it up. Before we get started, I'll show you another way to connect the router in case you don't have an Ethernet cable or your computer doesn't have an Ethernet port. Simply plug in the router to the power adapter and connect the cable from your internet provider. This will turn on the Wi-Fi. If the router is new and hasn't been set up yet, the Wi-Fi network will be named after the router itself. Your router has a unique Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a label. Get connected to it. Great job connecting to the router. Now let's get started with the setup. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. First, on this page, click on this label. Or if it's not there, tap on the phone picture. On the next page, you can choose the language for the router's admin panel. In the router password field, enter the default password, admin. If this password doesn't work, you'll need to reset it to factory default. To do this, click on reset password. Then enter the recovery key from your router to reset the password. Look for a sticker with this key on your router. This sticker is usually located on the bottom side of the router. Type the recovery key into the field. Then click the submit button. Next, you'll need to create a new password and a password hint. Pay attention to the password requirements. Then click the reset button. On the next page, enter your new password. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. 
I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. Now go to the Connectivity tab. Then open the Internet Settings tab. Click Edit. And choose your Internet Connection Type. You can find this information in the contract with your Internet Provider. If you're not sure which connection type you have, just select this one. It's the most common option. Click the Apply button. Next, go to the Wi-Fi Settings tab. Here you can change the name and password of your Wi-Fi network. If your router can support multiple bands, then click on Show More to set up separate names and passwords for different bands. Then click the Apply button. Double check that the information is correct, then click Yes. Wait a couple of minutes for the settings to update. Then reconnect to the Wi-Fi network using the new credentials. Now check if your internet is working. Just Google something. If the internet does not appear, Try cloning your MAC address. To do this, go to the Connectivity tab. Then to the Internet Settings tab. Check the box next to MAC address clone. Click the Apply button. Now you need to restart your router. To do this, go to the Troubleshooting tab. Then to the Diagnostics tab and click Restart. After a couple of minutes, when the router is fully powered on, check again to see if the internet is available. Just try Googling something. If internet still doesn't appear, Contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I send half of all donations to animal shelters. All the details are in the description below.